Hey guys, so I'm currently in my kitchen right now and I'm preparing my first meal. It's like, what time is it going? It's like 12.52 on Wednesday. I think it's Wednesday. I don't even know what day it is anymore. Yes, Wednesday the 3rd. And um, I've been really busy today with like work and we had like a half a day and I had to go run some errands. So I'm eating kind of late. Usually I eat around like 10, 30, 11 for my first meal, but this time I'm eating at like 12, almost, well, almost one o'clock, it's 12 52. But anyway, so today is gonna be like a moderate carb day. So I'm doing carb cycling and I have a low carb day, a moderate carb day and a high carb day. And like this week is kind of weird because it's the 4th of July and the 4th of July just happens to be on a Thursday, which is basically my low carb day, but I'm going to make that just a moderate carb day. And on Saturday, it's gonna be my low carb day because I ain't doing nothing anyways on Saturday, so it doesn't really matter. But, um, and I'm gonna get a good workout in because I just know. I'm going to my parents' house and I'm gonna eat some food, like seriously gonna eat some food. So I'll probably eat like some mac and cheese, some mac, you know, some more carbs. And I don't wanna be like trying to get in 50 grams of carbs on the 4th of July. Don't even make no damn sense. Uh, excuse me. That doesn't make any sense at all. But yeah, so I'm going to make like a little yogurt bowl, a little parfait bowl. I got this like protein granola from the store because I was too lazy to make granola today, but I'll probably make some granola tomorrow and I will show you guys what I do. I do have a recipe on my channel for my granola as well. So if you wanna check that out, um, it'll probably be down in the description box or just linked on my Instagram or TikTok page. But yeah, so I'm going to make this yoga bowl and I'll show you guys what it looks like. So I don't know if you guys can see this, but I track all of my macros and stuff on chronometer and I'll probably take like a screenshot, but I'm just using some plain yogurt, some strawberries and this protein granola. And that's gonna be my first meal. I'm also just gonna have like Popeyes today cause I really don't feel like cooking. So I'm gonna have that five piece chicken tenders and some mashed potatoes. And then I'm gonna have like breakfast for dinner, <laughs> kind of, which is, or I guess for lunch, a late lunch. It's just gonna be eggs and these cottage cheese blueberry muffins that um, I saw on Instagram. So I'm gonna try it and see if it's really good. But anyways, let's make the bowl of granola or yoga bowl. back in the kitchen and I'm going to be making some blueberry muffins. I got this um, idea from Lovely Delights. Um, I'll put our Instagram handle in the back, in the description box for you guys. But I was scrolling through Instagram, just like everybody, and I saw that she made some cottage cheese muffins. And I'm on a, you know, fitness journey right now and I was trying to figure out other ways to get protein in. And I was like, muffins sounds like a great idea but I really don't like cottage cheese. Like I don't know how people eat cottage cheese, at least by itself. I don't, I just don't know. But if you put it in something, then maybe you won't taste it as much. So we're gonna see today, but I'm going to make these cottage cheese muffins. And the only thing that I'm doing differently, I am subbing out like real sugar with monk fruit sugar or sweetener, and I'm making lemon blueberry muffins instead of just blueberry muffins. That should be fine, but I love the combo of like lemon and blueberry. It's so good, so good. Anyways, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I've already put like some sugar in my bowl already, but I figure I would just make my little muffins and you guys can watch me make my little muffins and I'll put them in the oven and I'll show you guys what they look like. Oh, and I'll tell you if they're really good or not, if I can taste the cottage cheese, because I'm not even gonna waste time making these again. And you don't even have to waste them either if you were thinking about making her recipe. But yeah, of course it won't be spot on because I am using lemons, but it'll be the same recipe. And I have it right here. 
So let's see, I already got my monk fruit sweetener in here. I need some vanilla. So this is my vanilla. I made this vanilla last May on the 20, May 16th, 2023. So if you want to learn how to make your own vanilla extract, I do have a video for that on this channel and also my Instagram channel, but I love making my own vanilla extract. I feel like it tastes better and I like seeing the vanilla beans. I am really heavy with mine, so I'm probably putting in like a tablespoon and a half. I feel like that's enough. But a vanilla, so I really don't measure this. I just kind of like shake it out of the bottle and it's fine. Oh, it smells so good. Mm, tastes so good. So anyways, the next thing we wanna do is we're gonna have milk and eggs. And she said two eggs. So I'm just gonna crack these eggs in here. So that's one. It tastes like a blueberry muffin, guys. Like, it's really, really good. And if you guys can see that, but as you can see, some of it stuck to the paper. But, you know, it's it actually tastes like a, just a regular blueberry muffin. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. Not even going to hold you. Um, I think for me that it's not as sweet as I would like for it to be sweet. Because, you know, we use monk fruit sweetener and I use the same amount. Of sweetener but it's sweet but it's not as sweet but it's sweet enough anyways i see you baby i'm gonna take the paper off of this one and i'm gonna give the rest of it to my dog because he can smell the goodness this is what my little late lunch is gonna be and then again like i said for dinner i am gonna go do my dance class and then at the Y, and then I'm gonna do back day today. And then after that, I'm getting Popeyes because I ain't got time. I'm just getting a five piece chicken tenders with some mashed potatoes and gravy. And then I'm gonna take my little seek protein powder in. That's gonna be it for today, guys. So I'm gonna wrap this up and I'll see you guys back after the gym. All right, guys, so I am back home from the gym and I'm exhausted. So I did like a dance class. And then I did back and biceps today, which was really fun. I love a good back day. Like, it's so nice. It's so fun. I feel like I'm targeting my back fat and my little rows are just, like, going away every time um, I do a back day. So, it's really nice. If you can hear, it's my dog in the background. I have some food right now. I have my Popeyes, and he's ready for me to give him some of my food. If you have a spoiled dog like I do, like, you understand the whining. But that's where it's coming from. So anyways, my last meal of the day because I did not feel like cooking and tomorrow is the 4th. So I'm actually just not even going to be cooking at all. I'll be going over to my parents' house and eating their food. And then I'm going to go grocery shopping on Friday and I'll start back over with my whole little thing because I just don't have time today. So this does fit in my calories uh, for my macros and whatnot. So I'm going to turn you guys around so you guys can see. But I think I said this earlier what I was planning on getting anyways. Um... 
So as you can see, I got a five piece uh, black and tenders from Popeyes with their mashed potatoes and gravy. The biscuit is for my dog. I'm not eating the biscuit. Um, I have my high carb day on Friday, so I'm actually gonna be making pizza. So I really care about the biscuit right now. But anyways, yeah. And then I have this little kombucha. Is it not a little bit? But I got this from my local Publix. And I think I tried this once. I could try like a little sip of one and I liked it. If you don't like flower tasting things, you're probably not gonna like this one. But I love any type of kombucha. I usually stick with the, what is it? GTS brand. I think that's what it is. I don't know. But I'm thinking about making like a little kind of like real or something over the beverages that I usually drink. But I drink like a variety of like different beverages throughout the month. Not like every day, but sometimes I just get tired of drinking water. So I usually will just drink like some like a cup of kombucha or an aura collagen tea or um, what is it? A tapache. But anyways, I am going to eat and I'm going to watch Dexter because I love Dexter on Netflix. Like, well, it used to be on when I was like, what is it, CW, I believe? Anyways, when I was a kid, but I love Dexter, it's so good. So if you've never watched it, the mind of a serial killer, wild to me, just wild. Anyway, so I will see you guys tomorrow for the 4th of July. Good morning, lovely people. So it is the 4th of July, but you know, I celebrated on Juneteenth. But, um, I am getting ready to go for, like, a short run. It is, I don't even know what time it is anymore. It's, like, 6 something in the morning because it's hot in Nashville. Like, super duper hot. And when I say hot, I don't mean, like, hot, hot. I mean, like, it's hot plus there's humidity. And humidity means that, like, if you step outside for, like, five minutes, you may have a heat stroke or just die. Or, you know, if you have on makeup, your makeup will fall off of your face. It's just, like, the type of hot that, like, nobody ever feels comfortable in. And, like, right now, it's 6 o'clock in the morning. It's, like, 80 degrees. It's supposed to get to, like, 90s, maybe even 100 today. I'm just really not feeling it. I was supposed to be out here at 6 o'clock, okay? I woke up at 5.30, but I was struggling to get out of the bed because I'm tired. And I haven't ran in, like, three weeks, guys, because, you know, with my knee. But my doctor said that I can do, like, a little small run, so we're going to go for, like, a small run today. Um, but I think I'm going to try to run like, or jog, light jog for like two miles. But I'm trying to get six miles in today in total as far as like walking. So I'll probably just run two and then walk four. That is the plan. So yeah, I'm at a park right now. So I'm going to get on the trail real quick. I'm going to stretch and then go ahead and, um, man, I'm tired. Do my little run. So and then I'm going to have breakfast and wash and do my hair later and go to my parents' house. And I will see you guys for breakfast. There's a little deer right here. As I'm walking back to my car after my run, Michelle let us pass. Alright guys, so I'm back from my run slash walk. I was not successful today. Like I was supposed to jog two miles and then like run four but it's really hot outside and I jog fasted this morning because I didn't really feel like eating anything that was the wrong idea I definitely should have eat like a banana an apple or like some oatmeal or something because my stomach was rumbling and I keep forgetting that like three weeks ago well more than three weeks ago I wasn't on a diet but now that I'm on a diet you know I'm carrying less carbs and um yeah, your girl was not fueled at all. Like, I was super tired. Um, I did jog my two miles, but I think I walked, uh, like a mile and, uh, 1.8 of a mile back, um, to get back to my car because I was going to walk two more miles, but it started creeping up into, like, the high 80s. Like, you can see the sweat, but I will put on the screen, probably, like, right here or whatever, um my run and my little walk time but so you guys can see that but yeah i'm gonna go home shower eat something because i am starving it is so hot it's so hot um people are just now getting out and i'm like girl i'm gonna go like i'm gonna go home like it's too much 
um but yeah i enjoyed my run my knee wasn't too bad it still kind of like was annoying like a little pain but nothing like it used to be um so i feel like that was fine but i was running really really slow today like really really slow so hopefully it gets better over time i'm not really sure hopefully but i'm gonna keep strengthening it and keep strengthening my hips and my ankles along with my knees because i feel like that's kind of like the issue but yeah so i'm going to start my car and get some air in this car and then i'm gonna go home but i'll see you guys later Anyway, so I just did my hair because it needed to be done and I love this hair like I just put in some spring twists this morning but uh it took me about three hours to do but I think it looks good and uh oh I'm wearing like little baggy jeans and my little uh pizza planet shirt that I got from Target but look at this lipstick I'm trying a different lipstick usually I go with um what is a Rihanna's uh, Stana Limp Paint, Stana Limp Lip Paint, uh, and the red one, I don't know. But I'm trying the lip bar now. It has this boss lady. It's cute, but it doesn't match this red, so I probably should've went with the other one. But it's really dry, but it's very pretty. But anyway, so this is the face today. Super excited. I ain't going nowhere but to my parents' house, but I like looking cute on holidays. like. It is. It's a thing. I don't know. But yes, I, as far as clothes though, I prioritize um, comfort over anything. So I will be comfortable today and I'll probably get in a nap. But I think I'm going to do my nails because I took my old ones off. So while I'm at home, I'm going to do my nails. Anyways, I'm saving up majority of my carbs for today. Hopefully my dad has some good stuff on the grill. But yeah, so I will see you guys in a minute. Me and Cash. My old boy over there. If you guys have never met Cash. Actually, I don't think you guys have. Come here, pup, pup. Little pup, pup. He doesn't like when people pick him up without his wheel. He's a little thing. He's a little thing. Say hey, Cash. Say hi. He's a little man. He's my little man, Trish Nelson. He's my baby. I don't know what he got here. He's supposed to be all black. They lied to me. He grew on this like brown mustache type of situation. But you can't see his eyes, but he's looking at us. But anyways, we're about to go to my parents and yeah. He be high. I'll see you guys when I get to my parents' house. Hey guys, so I'm at my parents' house and nobody is here. So apparently my little brother is at the barber shop with my dad. So my dad is a barber and he's getting his hair cut right now. But um, anyways, yeah, I thought when I was coming over here, there was gonna already be like food and stuff, you know, ready for me to eat because I'm hungry. But nobody's here and there is no food. And my dad is really tired. I swear he's like one of the hardest working men that I know. This man is literally working, cutting people's hair on the 4th of July at his shop. Um, he's about to close up though, but anyways. So it's just me and a little cashy poo over here waiting for them to get home. I think we're probably just gonna go and grab something to eat. But I end up grabbing, going to this coffee shop that's down the street from my parents. I end up getting like a, it's like oat milk with two shops of espresso. Uh, it's like a little Cuban, but not really. Uh, but anyways, that's what I got because I'm tired. I haven't had a nap in like all day. And I got up at 5.30 this morning too. Right at six. I'm happy that I saved up my calories, but I don't know what I'll be eating. Apparently there's supposed to be s'mores today as we watch movies on the lawn and fireworks and stuff. But I don't know, I'll keep y'all posted. But right now it's just me and my man Cash. And we are going to do these nails while nobody's here and probably watch some TV. So yeah, see you guys later. All right, guys, so I decided to come to the kitchen table. Don't mind Cash. He has separation anxiety, so wherever I am, he got to be. Which, I guess, is in my lap right now. And that's fine, you know, that's, that's fine. But, 
yeah, we are going to um, do my nails. I have like a little quick chat and he's gone. So these are the nails I'm putting on. I've never really seen these in short nails. They always come in medium, but I like this particular cut of color because I feel like it's more of like a terracotta or a peachy nude type of color. For me, like this color looks way better on me than whatever that pink nude that they have. I feel like they'll look good on lighter skin tones, but not me. Um, I like these, these are really good. And I like Glamnetic as well, but Glamnetic is twice as prices these as Kiss Nails. Um, I feel like they last the same amount of time, so whatever. I also have this Beauty Secret Snail Glue that I'll be using. And then I have Nail File that's overused. And uh, all of my little tools and stuff that's in here to clean my cuticles and whatnot that I'll be using. But it should be a pretty quick job because I actually just took some nails off not too long ago. And uh, I really don't need them to be putting on a new set right now. But I wish, I have this friend, her name is Jamika, and she does her own nails. And I always find that fascinating because I would love to do my own nails. And I know there's nothing stopping me from doing my nails and whatnot, but it's a lot of work. She says she put in like a five, six hour job from like designing and doing all this stuff. And I'm like, girl, at this point, I'm just gonna pay somebody to do my nails because this is why I wear press-ons. Because I hate going to the nail shop and spending like almost $80 for something I can do at home relatively quickly, like quick, quicker more than they can do it. Um, and then they charge for like cuticle care. Like, how are you gonna go somewhere? How you, I just don't understand going to the nail salon to get your nails done. Whatever say you get gel, acrylic, dip, it don't really matter. I don't understand why cuticle care isn't included. Just like when you get a pedicure, I don't understand why they don't get all the callus off your feet and all stuff. Like, I don't understand like why that's like a separate, I guess, add on. I just feel like there's so many like upselling in there and I just get so overwhelmed every time I go to the nail salon. So now I think I've been putting on press-ons for about a couple of years now and they're awesome. I love these. Sometimes I get like a second use of them, sometimes I don't. But I particularly like Kiss or Glamnetic because they fit my nail beds. I guess I have fat nail beds. I don't know. I thought I had small hands, but I guess I don't because Empress Nails does not work for me. Like those things are small. Those are for like small people hands. Uh, so it's a no. But anyways, so let's have like a quick chat as I, oh, and I also got like a little towel because this is my parents' house. This is my mom's dining table and I know her. Like, if I spill anything on here, get some glue on here. Man, I don't even, uh -uh. I ain't even got the time. Nope, not gonna do it. But anyways, so I wanted to talk to you guys about like my journey of losing weight. It is very hard, like very, very hard. So like the other day, I think like a couple of days ago, I had um, talked to one of my really good friends. I'm gonna just call her my best friend. Her name is Jamika. And she wouldn't mind me shouting her out in this video because I told her that I would anyways. But I had, something in me was just telling me, this is so cute, I love the smaller nails. Oh my God, that fits perfectly. Girl, shut up. Uh, okay, anyways. But I had called her well, not called her, but I had voice messaged her and whatnot because I was on my way to the gym and I was just really aggravated, you guys. So as you guys know that I hired a personal trainer and right now he has me doing like carb cycling and carb cycling was fine. It's actually still fine. I just didn't know that he would be dropping my carbs every week. So like I thought it would be more consistent. So it was, to preface this is just that like, hey, if I'm eating 50 grams of carbs on my low carb day and 80 grams of carbs on my high carb, I mean, moderate carb day and I don't know, 185 grams of carbs on my high carb day, that's fine. I'm thinking that's gonna be the same way every week, but every week since the beginning, like it's been five weeks now, my macros have changed and that is very hard for me, for someone who likes stability, for someone who just like, 
I want the numbers to be the same every single week. Me and change just don't really go hand in hand together. It takes me a little bit because it's aggravating. Like, I think I'm a flexible person, but I don't really want to be flexible. I am flexible because I have to be flexible sometimes, but I don't really want to be flexible. And it's just like messes with my mind. And I guess this week, uh, one of my low carb days was like 50 grams of carbs. And I was like, what is this keto? Because I don't even do keto. Like I hate keto. Like I can't, I don't really like eating meat all the time. I don't even like really having a lot of fat. I am a high carb person. That's who I am. That's probably why I got into this situation anyway. But what, my, what I will tell you that I'm down like six pounds now in what, five weeks, four weeks, four weeks. And then I haven't even measured myself for this week, but I'll stay tuned at the end of the video and I will tell you how much I weigh. But um, I've eaten bread like probably four, four out of the seven days of the week on every, like for every week, because I'm just not one of those person. I'm very realistic. Like I know that when these 16 weeks are over, you know, of me going on this weight loss journey, whatever, I'm going to still eat bread. I'm going to still eat a pastry. I'm going to still eat potatoes. I'm going to still eat rice. Well, I don't really like rice all that much, but you know what I'm saying? Like I'm going to eat carbs and I just don't want to not eat carbs because then I know that like if I start eating carbs later, I'm gaining it all back. I'm not trying to do that. Like I really want a lifestyle change. And what I have noticed about myself is that I have a sugar addiction for sure. Like I didn't know it was that bad to my first week. I felt like I was having like slick withdrawals and I was like, oh my God, like what's wrong with me? I was just addicted to sugar. It got easier over time. Like I didn't feel like I needed to have a pastry. I didn't feel like I needed to have, you know, this and that, whatever. So it got easier after like the first couple of weeks of not having sugar so much in my diet, which definitely helped. But I'm not going to lie to you and say that I didn't miss it. I definitely miss it. And so what I have been doing lately is I've been trying to make things that I would normally eat healthier. So if I wanted a pastry, I just made these cottage cheese blueberry muffins, lemon blueberry muffins. They were really good. Um, I had a parfait type of bowl with, it wasn't just like with Greek yogurt. I'm going to have to tell you all that because it was really good. It's this like little yoga bar I call Celio. I think that's what it's called. When I get back home, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. And I have those with like berries and like some cookie butter or like some peanut butter and some pretzels. So it gives me like a sweet and salty kind of kick. Sometimes I'll have like the ice cream bars from Skinny Cow. Skinny Cow has some really good stuff. It's really good. Like the ones with the caramel. I feel like it needs more caramel on it, but that's probably like the point. It is really good though. And I like the ice cream sandwiches from Skinny Cow. So I just been kind of finding stuff that will fit into my macros. Um, but it's just been, I wouldn't say it's been hard. It's been kind of easy finding stuff that will fit in my macros, but it's been hard trying to change my mentality on stuff. And so I mentioned Jamika because I called her and I was just crying like this week because I was just so down and out. Like I was so, I felt like I was really depressed. Um, and I just felt like, what am I doing? Like, am I doing this at a healthier rate? Probably not. Do I just want results for the short time? Is this what I'm really made of? Like I, my brain was just like going everywhere. And I was like, oh my God, I'm going to die because you know, I'm not getting enough carbs in. I fasted for two to three days and I didn't get any food in and I was fine. I was just like, my brain was just like everywhere than where it needed to be. And I was just so thankful because I called her and not only did she give me some encouraging words, but I love how she just told me to like, keep going. Like she knew that like exercising and being a healthy way is very important for me. And she was like, well, I want you to keep going. I want you to achieve your goals and whatnot. Don't worry about anything. Um, and I love that because in our community, and I'm just going to say, African-American, black people community, majority of the time, if you tell someone that, and you know you're overweight, if you tell someone like, oh yeah, I gotta lose this, or I'm overweight, blah, blah, and they'd be like, no girl, you look good, or you just thick, or whatever, and I'm like, I don't wanna look thick. I wanna just look good to you. I want to feel good in my skin. And I was just dying the other day because 
I was sitting in the parking lot crying, not because I didn't want to go in the gym, because I like going to the gym. I like working out, you know? I love a good back day. Love me a good leg day. Those are goods. I love, I love those days. Uh, working out is, to me is like the easy part. The hard part for me is the food and just wrapping my mind around the fact that I need to have a better relationship with food. And I think that I'm slowly getting there, but just having that conversation with her the other day, just, it was just amazing, you guys, because it really put a lot of things in perspective for me that I really need to continue on with what I'm doing right now because I know that I'm helping my future self get to the goals that I need to establishing a better relationship with food, um, and which I think that I'm doing because I've eaten pizza, burgers, chicken fingers, like all the stuff that I cooked um, myself. And some things I ate out, like I ate out the other day on this video, like I went to Popeye's and I'm going to be fine because I'm still in a calorie deficit. Like I'm not even going to worry about it. Um, my rule is if it fits in my macros and I'm not going over my macros, I'm going to eat it. Now, will I be starving? Because <laughs> it was very like a simple carb or something for my workout? Probably, but then probably not. Because guys, I have all this stored fat on my body that I can just burn when I work out. And sometimes I forget about it. <gasps> Sir, what are you doing? So sometimes I forget that. And I don't ever really just want to just forget that anymore. So yeah, uh, I'm just really thankful to have some really good friends in my life who care about me genuinely and know about my goals and know and don't want me to break them, you know, and not trying to get me to break them or anything like that. So that's really reassuring. And I love that for me. But yeah, so I just wanted to kind of share that with you guys because losing weight is very hard and I feel like it's more of a mental game than anything. It's definitely a lifestyle change and I really want that for myself. I really want to cash. What are you growling at, sir? Don't nobody want you. Don't nobody want you. You coming up here? Come on. <sighs> sir, it might not give you enough attention. But I'm trying, you know, to make my YouTube video. And I'm just trying to figure out, like, what, what's wrong? Okay. I'm not going to be fooling with you. Anyways, so if you are struggling, guys, to lose weight, just know that's fine. You're probably going to struggle. And it's going to be like a daily struggle. Uh, like, I don't know, I guess it kind of makes me feel like me being tempted by Satan every day. Like, literally, it's a daily thing. He's going to tempt me every day every single day because that's what he does and that's you know that's his prerogative and that's fine you know it's whatever all right guys so nails are finished i think they look cute i did mess up this one <laughs> because i put too much glue and it got stuck to my hand so it's okay but my mom doesn't have any acetone but i'm just gonna have to rock these for now and i think i'm just gonna put some oil on my cuticles and, but that's pretty much it. They're super cute. I love them. They're short and I'm feeling some short nails right now. So, so on the way to Texas Roadhouse with the fam. <laughs> so today is the 5th. So right after um, 4th of July and I'm back at the house. Yesterday I was at my parents' house and we, um, instead of my dad grilling the other day, we went to Texas Roadhouse and I totally forgot to like film what I ate because I was so hungry yesterday guys so I just like ate and just didn't even worry about it but anyways I did not get any of the appetizers I ended up getting some of the um I got the grilled shrimp meal that comes like like the bed of rice or whatever but I didn't eat the rice I ended up just eating uh ordering a baked potato and a Caesar salad to go with it it was really good like the baked potato was fire I'm more of a like potato girl than more of a rice person so I like rice but I don't really eat rice that often i am going to be eating rice for the first time in like i don't know like a month this week or whatever because i want some cilantro lime rice chipotle had um the new adobo chicken so i'm going to try to like make that myself on the grill on sunday but yeah and i want the, the little cilantro rice type thing to go with it but yeah so anyway it's my high carb day 
And I love high carb day because I can pretty much eat all the carbs. I mean, I eat carbs every day. Like I told you guys uh, previously that I'm going to always be like a bread. I don't know, like carb person. I can't do keto. I just know it's not sustainable for me. So I'm going to have carbs. It is what it is. Um, and I have been losing weight slowly with carbs. And I think that's the route that I want to take. And I'm perfectly fine with that. Like I'm okay with that. But this morning I was craving like a breakfast sandwich from my local bakery. So I'm going to get it today. It's like a, like a little small like breakfast sandwich that's on like two little things of sourdough. I'll show you guys. But um, I love this bakery. It's called Flower Your Dreams. And I feel like I was there all the time. But now that I'm kind of like trying to lose weight, I can't go there every day like I used to go, which is probably a good thing because I'm saving money and I'm losing fat. So that's fine. But anyways, I also am craving like a chai Oh my God, like if you guys are in Nashville and you're craving like a chai or some sambusas, you guys need to go to the Horn. It is this Somalian family owned restaurant that's in Nashville and it's so good. And I really want a sambusa, but it's going to be too high in fat. And I really can't go over my fat today because with all the other stuff that I'm eating. Um, so it's just not one of those things that I really want to splurge on right now, but I do want a chai, but the chai is really, really good. <laughs> for obvious reasons, because they make it. Um, it's probably loaded with sugar as well. But anyways, so today, I'm just gonna make my own chai because I make my own chai all the time. So I'll show you guys that. And I'm gonna have this simmering while I go to the bakery to go give me my breakfast sandwich because I am so hungry right now. And then I'm gonna do some editing for this video and probably go to the store. <laughs> So I am upstairs and we are going to, um, got my little chai. Super excited about it. It's so good. That's all that with the little vanilla sweetener. That's what it is. Before I get like started editing and stuff, I kind of wanted to show you guys this breakfast sandwich that so comes wrapped and it's like this. It is so good. Like, look at that, bro. So it's this big. It's like two pieces of sourdough um, smashed together. Oh, a little egg piece. Come on. It's like a little egg. So good. Anyways, show you guys what it actually looks like. So this is like one half, I guess it fits my ham, of a piece. And it has like ham, egg, spinach, and I think like a slice of cheese that's on it, but it's really good. This is what our calories are going for today because this is what I was craving. That's what I'm going to eat. So I'm going to eat and edit. And there should be a lot of people at the gym today. I think people be asleep, to be honest. So I probably should not eat and talk. But anyways, we're going to go to the gym. We're going to do a leg day today. A heavy leg day. So. I'll see you guys in a minute. So guys, I just finished my workout and I'm super excited about it. But this video is getting longer than I anticipated. So um, please like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.